You are now tuned in to the Alexa Layton Show with my wonderful co-host. Yo, 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 it's funny Julius here. All right now, okay, <laughs> giddy up. <laughs> So, so when I had so um like I lost my virginity or whatever, and like we used to come everything, and then like there's like when you lose virginity, it's like for women especially like your pH balance can get thrown off, mm. and because it's like you're allowing you know and the condom and things like that, so that could throw you off. And I was very sensitive, so like we were doing stuff, and he's like, "Yo, I'm like, oh, like I did smell something." I went to the doctor, and it was that like the pH balance was thrown off. Mm. It wasn't like I had a sexually transmitted disease or anything, but yeah, yeah, it was something yeah, that, that we both. And he, I mean, he would, you know, I mean, I guess that's really what it is. He kind of like, triggered it more, like as we were doing our foreplay, or whatever. And then when I we got into track, it's like okay, but me and him had that. Like he said, like something like always, oh, kind of. It's a little light, but I'll, so I'm like, oh well, this is different. Like I don't know, I'm just in, getting farted. into the sex world. <laughs> it's not and a then pussy ever since, but ever since then, I never had a problem because I know, like, like my, I know. Pooted, excuse me. <laughs> but I think a lot. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, a lot of pussy. First I of all, think that's a lot of women don't know. That's totally different. No, I'm, queefing, yeah, queefing is, is I, I when said, your pussy farts. I know if farts or hers pooted. <laughs> it's a tip. No, I don't know. No. Yes, it so is. So first a, of all, okay, oh what Chrissy's gosh. talking about is extremely normal. Yeah, and yeah. Um, I think a lot of girls let it go unnoticed. Listen, and Ooh. I do know. A lot that's of girls let it go nasty. unnoticed, I think, because they're embarrassed. So they try to, like, play it off, like, oh, well, if I don't act like I smell it, maybe he won't act like he smells it. No. Come on, the yeah. smell's there. The don't thing that I don't like is when when guys try to shame women for it. Yeah. And, and Ju- know in enough. Julius's case, I feel like that girl probably yeah, already knew. knew version, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be having sex when you know that's what's going on. Don't, don't ignore what your body's telling you, right okay? Right. Don't ever do that. And then and don't and then you know what I'm saying if your body's giving you weird signals and you're having different smells and different things happening, go get that taken care of before you decide to share that with someone right. else. Okay, mm. especially somebody who you're not committed to and who won't really understand who and who might try to play your ass Why afterwards. Not? Get that smell of dick at your mouth. Get that smell of dick at your mouth. Most of the time, when women have these problems like odors and things of that nature, it is because of these dirty little boys. Facts. It is because of these men. Do not not get down on yourself. Shit. It is because men have external. Um, your member is external. Mm-hmm. Our reproductive organs are internal. internal. Y'all be sweating all day, y'all play ball, even just doing regular, you wake up in the morning and you got bacteria on your dick. Like, okay, it's just, right it's just normal. You do. You I got bacteria. You're right about that. You know what yes, I'm saying? So, right. it's like, you have sex with some, even if, even if homeboy took a shower, you wait a couple hours, he got more bacteria on his dick. You have sex with somebody, especially without a condom. Yeah, and, and then they're fucking like three or four other now bitches. now that bacteria is in okay, your well, vagina. Let's, let's, and let's that can cause your pH balance extreme. to be thrown off. It can cause bacteria vaginosis. Back. Like, mm-hmm. And that causes a smell. So... Go to the, your GYN. The, 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 the moral of the story here is... It's a brand condom. Yo, I can't front. It's, it's, a, it's very important to talk about these things. Right. Then the more you talk about them, the less they're taboo, and then the yeah. more you learn. The more people get comfortable right. speaking you know? about it. And the more yeah. niggas don't get on Twitter and be like, oh, this bitch pussy stinking her pussy was dirty, uh-huh. blah, blah, And then you got bitches feeling embarrassed. Then you got other girls shaming chiming them too. in, shaming Pick other me. women, like, oh, yeah, her, she was dirty, da, da, da. No, bitches bitch, because you know last week your, your vagina was smelling the same way. 